Rep. James Cummer, the chairman of the GOP Oversight Committee, is charged in a document by Democratic committee staffers with seeking to cherry-pick and misrepresent critical information in this investigation, according to a copy of the memo obtained by CNN. The document requests that Democratic committee members ask Cummer to make Chung's full transcript public. According to a representative for the GOP-led House Oversight Committee, Chung's full statement contains sensitive information to this ongoing investigation, so the panel will not be releasing it at this time. According to the spokesperson, Chung's testimony casts doubt on the White House's version of events. The time frame for packaging up these records begins six months earlier, the spokesman added, and we now know the classified documents were not kept in a locked closet at the Penn Biden Center as the Biden team has asserted. Prior to leaving office, the president's personal attorneys were packing up files kept in a locked room when they came across the records, according to Biden's White House attorney. Democrats' snippets do not contain Chung's comments on whether the boxes were kept in a secured closet. A representative for Biden's lawyer, Molly Levinson, declined to comment. Her spokesman declined to respond to questions. Chung's attorney declined to comment and reiterated that there are currently no plans for Chung to be interviewed by the special counsel. Information about how the crates were packed and unpacked. Chung's responses offer a glimpse into the hasty packing procedure that may occur during a presidential transition as she recalls packing boxes of documents without knowing what was inside. Concerns have been raised about how former President Donald Trump and Vice President Michael Pence handled presidential records and confidential materials that were discovered in their residences and offices after they left office. Additionally, Chung told the committee that she had repacked Biden's papers at the Penn Biden Center in June 2022. She also acknowledged that it was not until November 2022 that she was informed that some of the boxes she had packed contained classified papers by Robert Bauer, the president's attorney. During her stay in the Obama White House, Chung, who had a security clearance and had previous experience handling and identifying sensitive papers, told the panel that she thought all of the presidential records and classified documents had already been taken while she was packing. She said that she did not check to be sure that any of the roughly 13 boxes that ended up at the Penn Biden Center included any sensitive information. Before placing the documents in the boxes at the White House, Chung claimed to the committee that she had not even opened the file folders containing them. But before being placed in a box, didn't they first go in a file folder? A. The file folder was in the drawer, so we collected them all and put them in a box. And when you grabbed the file folders, did they contain any documents at the time? A. Yes. A. At that time, did you go through the file folders and the documents? A. No. Chung affirmed that no members of the Biden family were involved in box packing or giving packaging instructions. Chung responded, We didn't have the time or we didn't think that we needed to sort through them when questioned explicitly why she didn't organize the paperwork before packing. We were only given the directive to pack up. A timeline of how the boxes arrived at the Penn Biden Center is also provided in excerpts from interviews. After departing the White House, the boxes were kept for six months in a private office space that the General Services Administration rented, then for about a month at a building in Washington, D.C.'s Chinatown District, until the Penn Biden Center was ready. Chung went on to detail how she unpacked once the boxes arrived at the Penn Biden Center later in the sections of her transcript she gave to CNN. Well, I knew that there were things there, like those boxes containing the cancer moonshot and some of the policy papers. We actually opened those. The transcript quotes Chung as saying, and we also unpacked some of the boxes with, you know, the vice president loves photos of his family, so just to make his office look nice, we unpacked those and put those out. When asked if she carefully considered each file she chose to open, Chung replied, barely. The file folder was simply removed from the cartons and placed in the cabinet. Despite Chung's claims that she didn't examine or organize the documents, she was able to tell investigators that several of the boxes she had to pack had a tangle of Biden's belongings, including letters of condolence for his late son Beau Biden. According to Chung's testimony, there were books, pictures, and challenge coins in addition to policy papers for the Cancer Moonshot and Affordable Care Act. So, Chung said, it wasn't just documents. According to Chung, Biden cared about the policy and personal documents but they weren't necessarily items he looked at every day. Contending with conspiracy theories Excerpts from Chung's testimony also directly counter assertions made by Chairman Kummer and Donald Trump, who sought to draw attention to Chung's ethnicity as a possible reason for mistrust. The letter claims that Chairman Kummer amplified baseless, xenophobic, and racist conspiracy theories in a Newsmax interview on January 24, 2023 and attempted to tie Ms. Chung to the Chinese Communist Party. When, 
challenged about Chung's involvement in overseeing the packing of presidential documents, Kummer repeated the same bigoted conspiracy theory the next day in an interview with Fox News, according to the memo. Chung informed the committee during her questioning that she is not affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party. When asked if she had been asked to participate in a voluntary interview on the Chinese Community Party or secret documents discovered at the Penn Biden Center, Chung responded, I hope it's regarding the documents. Claims that Chung was hired by Hunter Biden with the intention of having her pack up the records are refuted by both her testimony and a separate letter from her attorney. As you are aware from reading the pertinent emails, Ms. Chung was not employed by the vice president to assist with document relocation. According to a letter from Chung's lawyer to Kummer, she was employed as the vice president's assistant who was in charge of office operations. In the letter, it is noted that Chung started working for Biden in 2012, several years before she started boxing up paperwork. According to Chung's attorney, you have indicated to us the real possibility that you do not intend to treat Ms. Chung fairly by saying that she obtained the position to assist with the Biden family moving documents at Hunter Biden's recommendation, and further that you expect to pursue some bizarre notion that Hunter Biden recommended her because of a purported interest in documents. Hunter Biden has never had access to any sensitive materials in the White House or the Penn Biden Center, according to Chung in her committee interview. Government Inquiry Only a small number of witnesses have reportedly been questioned by the Justice Department during its investigation into the classified documents discovered in Biden's home and office, including Chung. Just before Attorney General Merrick Garland named her as a special counsel to lead the investigation, she met with prosecutors in January. Prosecutors questioned Chung during an initial investigation into the case handled by former Chicago U.S. Attorney John Lausch. Garland claims that on November 4, the National Archives notified a DOJ prosecutor that the White House had made the archives aware of documents with classified markings that had been discovered at Biden's think tank. The prosecutor then requested that Trump appointed Lausch review the situation. Her's office has since gotten in touch with Chung's attorney, but he hasn't been asked to participate in another interview. Chung presented the House Oversight Committee with more than 100 pages of papers and informed congressional investigators that she had already given the Justice Department access to the same emails and text messages she had given the committee. Chung assured the committee that she had cooperated completely with the current federal inquiry. When the committee questioned Chung about whether anyone had advised her not to assist any federal inquiries, she responded, No.